Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so if you're thinking about getting into mining, this is kind of a, a part two. Let's just talk about graphics card prices. If they came down enough to make it worth it, I would say no, right? I'm making less than half of what I was a couple months ago, and uh, it's going to take a lot longer to get your return on investment. So ideally, graphics cards, in my opinion, would have to come down half from where half the price of where they were recently, right? Because you only want 200, 300 days um, to get your money back in hell. Back in the day, you could find a graphics card that you get your money back in 100 some days. Um, so let's look at uh, we're going to look at a bunch of graphics cards, RTX 3070. We can find an actual 3070 instead of these 3060s. I don't know why these are popping up, but uh, pre-owned. So starting to see prices come back down to where they were, uh, you know, quite a few months ago. I know that I got a 3070 for 900. I've got a 3070 for um, five. I'm trying to think of what I paid Zotac. It's either actually it's like four fifty something plus tax and or four fifty plus shipping ended up being right at five hundred right so that uh, that was a good price and I got my money back on that card uh, I would say but now you know good luck trying to get your money back when your graphics card is only making a buck fifty maybe two dollars if you got the KR version. Um, that is, you know, you're looking at almost at least 500 days now to get your money back. Uh, so slight, slight drop in prices there. I can tell you with the 3060s, you know, most of these were 700 and up. We're seeing a lot more in the 600 range. Now you can go to Amazon and, you know, they're not really going to give you a good idea of what current prices should be starts with eBay right that's where people start dumping stuff um, there are probably quite a few people that are dumping graphics cards or starting to dump graphics cards realizing they're not making the same money and they want to get out before they uh, they totally lose their butts RTX 2060 now ideally these will get back down to being $200 cards um, right now, 450. This link doesn't, you know, you're not going to actually find anything if you click on that one. They're out of stock. Um, 460. So these are, you know, a lot better. They're lower. So a lot of these were going for over 500, 600. So starting to see some drops there. Let's check out 2060 Super. I, I bought mine back in the day for what two fifty three hundred dollars. Uh, it has paid for itself not only in gaming videos but definitely in crypto. So that's bogus. Um, Six twenty. These were you know getting close to seven hundred dollars. Prices dropped a little bit on them. Not enough to be honest with you. Let's check out 3060 Ti. I'm just going to bounce all over the place. 3060 Ti. So this is used, but uh, it's been quite a few months since I was able to get a RTX 3060 Ti in the $800 range. So the fact there's a few selling for under that is pretty darn good. I don't even remember how many months ago I bought a 3060 Ti. Um, I just recently actually traded somebody for one. Just to, you know, trade two cards for one. Keeps my electric cost down. Uh, making about the same amount of money. So we have we have two 3060 Ti's. I have no, you know, I use only one of them to game with. The other is always mine. 3070 Ti. You know, ideally, these would start to get in the uh, $800 range. $800, $900 range. They're still over a thousand, probably. I think one of the ones I bought was one thousand twenty-nine dollars, and that's when they were 
a lot cheaper. Now, this isn't a card that they've made tons of them. I don't think it's super popular. It's obviously an LHR card. And we haven't seen a single TI come up, even though we're looking at all these 3070s. Search engines broke, eBay. Okay, so I don't know what's going on there, but I don't have the patience for it. Let's look at the uh, 3080. So if you go to the Zotac store, what do we see? $13.99. Um, and then over here, can you beat $13.99? These are bogus, bogus. Yes. This card used to make 4 or $5 a day, so it's only making $2 a day. What does that tell you? 600 days at least to get your money back minus tax or minus uh yeah it could be taxes and electric right so way more than 600 days 3080 ti i'm trying to remember what i paid for mine folks it was cranking at one time up to six dollars a day Pre-owned, bogus, bogus, legit. So these haven't come down too much. I, I think I paid $16.99 for mine. The time, I thought it was a good deal. Now, I don't know. Now, did I make my money back? I needed to go at least 300 days. I probably only went 200 days before prices dropped. Um, so we did not make our money back yet. And I don't think we're going to make our money back at the current current rate. Now, gaming videos, had a lot of gaming videos. Um, potentially, you know, got a big chunk of that money back from gaming videos. But, yeah, we're on, I think we're on the hole in this one. 3090. So, these guys, you know, they've steadily shot up in price, right? There was a time this thing was making eight, nine bucks a day. Now, it's down to 325, 425. And... I got one for 2500 and the other for like 2700 so, I don't know if this guy's legit, but that, oh, that's a 3080. That's a pretty good price there. But still, if you're only making, you know, let's say $4 a day, $500 to get your money back, you're going to see a lot more 3090s get dumped on the market. Um which eventually will affect Amazon and Newegg and all those people that have been price gouging the hell out of us. Because um, these are individual sellers. They're going to start realizing that their card's not worth what they thought it was. So that's those. Um, let's go look at some other great cards that I have. 2080 Ti. You know, this card came out, what, cost... $1,100. Um, it has maintained that value for years. And this card is going to take a while, obviously, to pay it back. It's probably only making, geez, what do you think this thing's making now? Maybe $2, $2 a day, if that. And you're talking, you know, five, 600 days. That doesn't include electric or taxes. So not so hot. 2070 Super. I originally paid 400 for mine, I think. Or 499. I also had a 2070 at one time, but um, that's not a bad price to be honest with you, even now. But you can see some of these are starting to come down in price. This is good. These were going for $799, $800. I want to find an RTX 2080 Super. I think I bought mine for $600. And it's made some money, but... So still, um, this one's still staying up there. It's dropped a little bit, but not significantly. 
Yeah, the 1080 Ti's. I remember seeing those not long ago were 699 and up. Um, but then you go back a few months before that, 649. Obviously, go way way back. You know, 350, 450. Um, so let's see where they're at. I don't have one of these in my collection. One day I would might get one. So 599. That's uh, that's a hundred dollar drop from uh, where it was recently. You know, these have, most of these have been mined on for sure, gamed on for years and years. If I ever find one for 300 bucks, maybe I'll get it. All right. What else, folks? Um, trying to only show you guys ones that I have. 1080. I got, you know, I was in Hawaii. I picked up my 1080 for $200. Um, if I even paid that much, no, sorry. Radeon 64. We'll, we'll pull that one up in a second, but 1080 eBay 175. Yeah. So, but these, you know, they did not making a lot of money mining. It doesn't take a long time to get your money back. Five, 600 or more days. Not too great. Let's look at some uh, RX cards. RX Vega 64. I've had the 56, but um, I did pay exactly $200 about, I guess it would have been almost two years ago. Would it have been two years ago? No, 20 months ago. 20 months ago. That's parts only. This is the one I have. 627 so it's still worth three times as much um what is the this guy these things are still going for a small fortune parts parts they're burning these out folks parts only pre-owned people are still buying them it's amazing I don't know why. 5700 XT, we've, we've had one of those. We don't have any more. They're still up there in price. Uh, what about the 6700 XT? So, I see these prices. At one time, new, these were $799. Depends on which brand. I mean, the cheaper brand, $799. But I didn't pull the trigger. Kind of glad at this point I didn't because they went up in value and now they are back down. Um, 6,600. I have the that and the XT. So I think I paid 500, 500, give or take. So they're still up there in price. There is the regular 6,600. See if I can get that to come up. Yeah, both mine I paid five hundred bucks for cheapest one five hundred. These should drop at some point. They aren't making any money. Not doing anything. Um, what about? So I also mistakenly bought an RX. 5500 XT. I had the 4 gig. Doesn't make any money. It's not that good for gaming videos. So these are dropping a little bit. 350. These are, we're going to see a bunch of these on the market at some point and cheap. These should come down to about 200 to 250. That's, that's when it would be worth buying them. Right now they're not worth it. 588 gig. These have been staying 400 up, starting to drop 340. I still wouldn't buy one of these though. I have the XFX RX 590. Um, but there you go, folks. Yeah, prices have dropped a little. Oh, GTX 1070. These should be, um, in my opinion, less than $300. I, I had one of these, sold it. And then 
later was like, ah, oh, too bad I didn't have that because, boy, I wasted, I could have used it for mining and gaming videos still. 350. Yeah, these should, these need to drop even further. Old cards. I have a um, 1060 version of this, 6 gig. That card I, I paid 100 bucks for. Which makes you wonder, folks, could I actually sell that thing now? 225. These are like three gigs. Three gigs don't make any money, right? So I have the six gig of that. Paid 100 bucks for it. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's still worth some money. If I could sell it, that's the key. Can you sell it? I think there's going to be a lot of cards that get dumped. And quite honestly, I need to start considering dumping some of mine. But there you go, folks. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.